Okay, screw ChatGPT and Midjourney and all the others. This is my favorite AI tool ever. This is absolutely insane. This is websim.ai. It's really new. I have no idea how long this will be free. So get on this right now. If you go to websim.ai, you'll see this fake sort of Linux or Mac browser interface. And you can literally type in any website that doesn't exist up the top here and it will instantly bring you to that website. So this sounds insane. So there are two ways you can use this. You can prompt it for a website that you would like to make, or you can just say something like catstagram.com and it will analyze this, use Sonnet 3.5. You can change which AI model you wanna use, but this one's the best. Otherwise you can use GPT-40, which is amazing as well. So if you just type in catstagram.com, which obviously is not a real website, I don't think, it will analyze that, know what we want to create, and it should create us an Instagram for cats right now. So it's actually making a working website. Look at this. It has recreated Instagram, but for cats, and already populated it with some AI images as well. Now, as you can see, there doesn't seem to be a lot of functionality on this one, so we can actually like these images. Now, if you right-click anywhere on the page and hit Edit, you can edit the element. So let's say up top here, we can say, if we say Instagram menu and hit Enter, there we go, it made us a menu. Obviously, this doesn't look so good. I wonder if it's better if we say an Instagram clone for cats. So again, it did make catstagram.com. There we go, now it's actually making it a bit better with some icons up here. Oh, here we go, suggestions, my account, and it's populating them with AI images. I think we can actually follow this as well, there we go. And the coolest thing, you can actually export this and download this website and actually host it for yourself. So it's a real working website. So let's try some other fun ideas. What about ParallelUniverseNews.com? Here we go creating our parallel universe news website breaking news across the multiverse and here we have our parallel news articles we have realities crossovers multiverse tech about us and the cool thing is if you click on any of these it will then know what you clicked on and create its own page for that so if we go to the about page it obviously didn't make that yet but it will create that right now so here's the about page it just created let's see if we go back to the home page if the same articles are there Oh wow, we're getting more actually now. So we can click on any of these articles. And here we have it, a T-Rex taking the presidential oath and becoming president. All right, let's try something else. Let's try a mystery puzzle game. Just keep it really vague and global, see what it does. All right, here we go. For some reason, it's kept the URL up there. Maybe we should have gone back to home and tried it again, but it has done it. So we have an interdimensional mystery now. Ah, I think it kept the parallel universe thing going. So in reality, Zeta 12, a message was intercepted from the future. It reads, the key to saving the multiverse lies where the T-Rex president's tiny arms can't reach. What location is this referring to? So it's an actual sort of a riddle, like a puzzle. Let's see what happens if I say on the top shelf. Not quite. On the floor. Malware bites. So I have no idea what the answer to this riddle is. Anyway, let's try something else. How about pianosimulator.game? And here we go. Here's our piano. I can't actually hear it. I'm not sure if that's because of my recording or something like that. Maybe it's just not working. How about if we say Kalimba Simulator? And here we go. Again, I can't hear it. It does look good though. Look at the little animation. Let's try a solar system gravity simulation game. Here we go, Gravity Sim. Again, I should have gone to home first, I think. Oh, at the top here, we can see it generating code, I think. Interesting, let's hit start, see what happens. Nothing happens. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this in Brave Browser, actually. Let me just switch to Chrome. Let's try that again. Ah, this looks promising, I think. Click and drag to add planets. Use the mouse wheel to adjust mass. It's still loading. So it says we have two active planets. Uh, so I hit add planets, and then I can click on one. And if I scroll my mouse, I can increase the mass. It's not actually simulating the gravity, though. But it's definitely tried to do this. Interesting. Pretty sure I did see one somewhere that did this. Anyway, I'm sure if you give it way more detailed prompts, it will do a lot better job. Let's have a look at what some of the other people here have generated. So we have a Doom emulator. I'm not sure how that's even possible in this. Let's have a look. Oh my god. Is this actually going to be Doom? Well, there was a horrible noise, but it seems to work now. So that's not me playing. That's just a video. All right, let's quickly get rid of that. There's some really cool stuff here, though. 4D musical spheres. Let's take a look at that. Wow. Oh, so we can actually slow it down. This is kind of what mine was trying to do. If we increase the gravity. Oh, let's turn that back down, maybe. That's pretty cool. 
There's a web sim in the web sim. Oh god, I don't even want to touch that. Someone made a Google search, which presumably will just generate the pages you search for. What happens if I Google AI Quest on here? It's obviously not going to create my YouTube channel. I hope. So here we go. AI for everyone. AI Quest. Artificial intelligence courses. AIQuest.org. MetaQuest. Let's try AIQuest.org. So if we click on this, it will generate that entire website as well. It's just mind-blowing because, I mean, this is the very first iteration of this, at least that I've ever seen. I am 100% convinced now that in the not-so-distant future, the internet won't be you looking up stuff and sort of retrieving information from a server and using that, but it will all be generative AI like this. You'll just type in what you want and it will create that whole website for you instead of you having to find a website that already exists. And that's just mind-boggling. How about an alien planet travel agency? Here we go. Embark on an interstellar adventure. Look, it actually did some glowing text effects and generated these. Look at the moving background as well. The particles. This is amazing. This actually looks like a good landing page. Look at this. We can book a journey to Zorgon 5. We're licensed by the Intergalactic Tourism Board. This is absolutely insane. Let's see the travel packages. Ah, it uses the... Um, it's just sending us down or somewhere else on the same page. What about instead of doing this hash here, we make it a slash. So we go to the book now, which is the cool thing. You can actually just add a slash and it will create that for you. Look how cool that is. Now we have a book page. I have to fill in my species. Let's see the highest rated this month. I don't know how long this has been out for. I think it's very, very new. Here we have an interactive globe. Sculptor. Draw your own GIF. There's just so much to... S I don't even know what to click on. Here someone just made a drum sequence. What is... Will this even work? Oh my god, it works. My mind can't even express how insane this is. Interactive Earth globe with synchronized wind visualization. Touch and drag to rotate the globe. I don't seem to be able to d do that. Oh well. Anyway, there's so much to see and do here. You can just... Just have a have a go at this. I mean, people are creating the most insane things. Obviously, it's not perfect, as you've seen. So we have an animation generator. This is the Flamingo Spaghetti Generator. What if I say Penguin Rocket? Generate Absurdity. So we have a Launch Penguin Rocket button down here. Oh my god, here we go. What? Is that our penguin? What if I hit the button? Oh my god, it works. Look at that. We're actually launching. This is mad. I, mean, I just had to show you guys this. Go try this out while it's free. I've no idea how long this is going to be free for. I'm assuming not very long. Websim.ai. Anyway, you can share these with people. So if you make a cool website, please share it with me in my Discord group. Link in the description. Yeah, just check this out. I'll see you next time. Have fun.